Hi children. Now we are going to do an activity from the lesson Acids, Bases and Salts. For this activity, the aim is to find the pH of the following samples using pH paper or universal indicator. Materials required. Dilute hydrochloric acid. Dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Dilute ethanoic acid solution. Lemon juice. Water. Dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. Water range pH papers or universal indicator. Standard color chart. Color chart to compare pH value. Standard color chart to compare pH value. fine droppers and glazed tiles. Now we'll go for theory. pH scale was introduced by the great S. P. Sorensen. pH is defined as the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration in moles per liter. Also expressed as pH is equal to negative log H plus concentration. Neutral solution has pH value 7. Acidic solution has a pH value less than 7. While the pH value more than 7 is considered as basic solution. It is obvious from the below scale. Solution 0 to 6. And basic solution is 8 to 14. Basic nature increases. When the pH paper is dipped in the solution whose pH is to be found out, a color is developed on the pH paper. The color is matched with the standard color chart. In the place of pH paper, we can use the universal indicator. The different color may appear as follows. On the basis of different color, we can determine the pH value. Red color indicates a pH value 3.0. Orange red color indicates a pH value 5.0. Orange color indicates a pH value 5.5. Orange yellow color indicates a pH value 6.0. Greenish yellow color indicates a pH value 7.0 to 7.5. Blue color indicates a pH value 8.0. Purple color indicates a pH value 9.5. And violet color indicates a pH value 10.0. Now we'll go for processor. Take a clean and dry test tube. And add a few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid in test tube. Then add a few drops of universal indicator in it. So my dear children, what did you observe? When dilute hydrochloric acid mixes with universal indicator, it turns into red color. Next, we'll go for another test solution. Take a clean and dry test tube. 
add a few drops of dilute sodium hydroxide in test tube. Then add a few drops of universal indicator in it. So what did you observe my dear children? When dilute sodium hydroxide meets universal indicator, it turns into violet color. Now we'll go for next test solution. Take another clean and dry test tube. Add a few drops of ethanoic acid solution in test tube. Then add a few drops of universal indicator in it. My dear children, what did you observe there? When ethanoic acid solution mixed with universal indicator, it turns into red color. Can you visible clearly? Again, we'll go for next test solution. Take a clean and dry test tube. Add a few drops of lemon juice in test tube. And then add a few drops of universal indicator in it. What did you observe my dear children? When lemon juice mixed with universal indicator, it turns into red color. And we'll go for another test solution. Take a clean and dry test tube. Add a few drops of water in it. Add a few drops of water in test tube. Again, add a few drops of universal indicator in it. Are you visible my dear children? When water mixed with universal indicator, it turns into green color. Yeah. Now we'll go for next test solution. Take a clean and dry test tube and add a few drops of sodium bicarbonate solution in test tube.
then add a few drops of universal indicator in it. What do you observe now? When sodium bicarbonate mixed with universal indicator, it turns into blue color. Observation. In this observation, I'll ask a few questions. In observation, I'll ask a few questions. Which color can you observe when dilute HCl mix with universal indicator? It's red color. Which color can you observe NaOH mix with universal indicator? It's violet. Which color can you observe when CH3COOH mix with universal indicator? It's red color. Which color can you observe when lemon juice mix with universal indicator? It's red color. Which color can you observe water mix with universal indicator? It's green color. Which color can you observe NaHCO3 mix with universal indicator? It's blue color. So children, you can compare the intensity of color in three different acid. Conclusion. Strong acids gives dark red color, whereas weak acids gives red color with less intensity. In a similar way, you can see the difference between strong base and weak base. Based on this experiment, I'll ask a few questions. What is the formula for pH? Anyone can answer? The answer is pH is equal to negative log H plus concentration. And another question. What is the pH color at 5.0? Anyone can answer for this question? The answer is orange red. And the next question is what is the pH color at 8.0? Again, anyone would like to answer for this question? The answer is blue color.